If you're traveling to Japan and you don't like carrying a lot of luggage or you just don't want to pay to ship your stuff around the country each time you move cities, this video is for you. Here's how I got all the essentials, plus some extras, into just a standard sized backpack and a small purse that carried me through my entire two week, five city trip around Tokyo and Western Japan. As you can see, this is a Fjallraven laptop 13 inch backpack with the useless side pockets. No, the video is not sponsored. I just like that this backpack will last me till the day I die. For any travel backpack, I'd suggest something with a main pocket that unzips fully, not just along the top side so you can pack stuff in easier. Sturdy fabric to survive lots of bumping around and possibly being checked as airline baggage, and some comfy straps with padding. This backpack's also nice because it has a padded pocket for my tablet that sits along my back, so it can also hold money and other valuables where it's hard to be pickpocketed. More minorly, the handles up top can snap together to make an easy carry handle, and the extra bits of the shoulder straps can be buttoned up to keep them from flopping everywhere when it's stored under an airplane seat or on a train luggage rack. So what do I actually bring along with me that lets me comfortably survive this long while traveling really light? I'll start with the tech I bring along. Being chronically online, most of my entertainment can be loaded onto the iPad. I've since replaced both this stand and the case that I'm showing off with the Magic Keyboard case because I need to more easily use my iPad for work when traveling. But if you don't want to shell out that kind of money, a cheap padded tablet case from Amazon will keep everything safe and then keep your stuff organized. And this cheap $1.50 Daiso tablet stand is great for watching stuff while you're riding on Shinkansen's buses or just chilling in your capsule hotel. It also folds up nearly flat, making it great for travel. Um, inside the case, I've obviously got the tablet itself. I bring along my Apple Pencil for work. I've brought my Kindle with me, though obviously you could just read on your phone or tablet. I also always bring my 8-bit Doe SNES style controller because it's small and flat, and it can be used with Steam Link on the iPad to play games when you've got a good internet connection. I've also got a micro SD card and an adapter to move pics and videos off my phone and my iPad so that I can take even more. And of course, the mess of cables to power all of this, primarily USB-C and lightning. Moving on to the front pocket, I didn't really use it very much. I mainly used it to hold my toiletry rag I brought with me on the plane, since I didn't check any luggage so that I could easily get that in and out for the TSA check. I brought this cross-stitch stuff with me, thinking that I would work on that while I'm on buses, shinkansens, and the plane to and from. But it turns out it's harder to cross-stitch on the go than it is to crochet or knit, so don't do what I did here. Uh, the only good thing that came out of this was the mini Daiso sewing kit in there, as my friend traveling with me had needed to use the scissors a couple times and fix a hole in one of her things. Moving on to the bulk of all my stuff kept here in the main compartment. As you can see, that full front opening is absolutely wonderful when packing this cramped. I keep the toiletry bag up at the top because the contents can get easily pushed around as I try to zip up the backpack. And inside that, you'll see that I just keep small, reusable containers for a lot of things, because I know I can just easily refill things like shampoo and conditioner at any hotel I stay at. I came with lots of contacts, but not for every day, because I don't really wear them if I'm just going to be on a train for five hours that day. I just wear my glasses. I've got dry shampoo because my hair gets oily very quickly, and I've also got these little Daiso containers for like sunscreen, face soap, and face lotion. I honestly haven't used them that much though because most places I've stayed have had these amenities already, and I'm not very picky about my products. I brought these mini laundry soap sheets from REI, and they've been helpful at like an Airbnb where there was a washer but no detergent, but most capsule hotels in the year of our Lord 2024 have washers with auto dispensing detergent, which is really nice. I brought some leave-in conditioner since I've got pretty long hair, but lots of the women's only capsule hotels actually have had this as a free amenity too, so I've not needed this much either. I bring a couple of these toothbrushes from my dentist office on plane trips. They've got toothpaste embedded in the bristles already, so they're great to use on the plane ride to and from Japan to feel a little bit less gross when you land. I brought my razor with the razor head separate since I didn't know if I could bring an open shaving razor with me on the plane. I also got some mini floss and toothpaste, but no toothbrush since I knew my capsule hotel on the first night in the country had toothbrushes in the amenity kit. It's definitely a running theme that even capsule hotels have had most of the toiletries I need, so check for stuff like that when booking places to stay so you can cut down on what you've got to pack on the plane with you. I've got a nail file because my nails are crappy and break really easily, though obviously most people won't need this. Um, for my deodorant, I've emptied out a face sunscreen stick and loaded my deodorant into it so it would travel easier uh, because good deodorant is kind of hard to come by in Japan and Japanese summer is hot and humid. I've got my hair clip also to tie my hair up when baths and showers. 
since most public baths in Japan don't really want you to have your hair just sort of floating around in the water. Moving away from the toiletry kit, I've got this handy power adapter that folds up very compactly and can charge two items along with my Apple Watch. Uh, I brought this from America, but it's worked perfectly in Japan with no issues at all. I've used it on buses, Shinkansen, this really old Japanese house, on both sides of the east-west power grid, and I've not had any voltage issues or electronic issues at all. And then of course I've got a little sweater just in case I get cold on the plane or on boats. One of the most important things in this setup that I cannot recommend enough is this Thule compression packing bag. This is the small size and again, not sponsored, it's just fantastic. I have tortured this thing, stretching it to the full extent and it hasn't gotten a single tear. I pack all my clothing in this and then admittedly work a little bit hard to get the compression zipper closed. You can see that once I undo that compression zipper, it's got a lot in there. For the clothes I brought with me, I've got this shirt and pants for pajamas that were also the clothes that I wore on the plane over, since lots of Japanese hotels, even capsule hotels, will just give you pajamas to use for the night. Uh, this skirt and shirt make up one day of clothes, this dress is a second day of clothes, and the clothes I'm wearing in this video are my third day of clothes. And that may not sound like a lot, but everywhere I've stayed has had a washer either in the hotel itself or a coin laundry within two blocks, so doing laundry has been very, very easy. I've also got this undershirt, which is nice for very hot days, and also to make that white shirt a little less see-through. I always bring plain socks because I like being comfy on plane rides, and under those are my socks and underwear, which I don't need to show to the internet. The last few things in this bag are this airplane footrest because I'm basically a Lollafell from FF14 and it helps me to keep my feet propped up on long flights. This Totoro pouch is just holding a bunch of hair ties and some small earrings and just stuff to make myself look slightly more put together when needed for work. And last but not least is this eye mask for the plane and capsule hotels and my eyeglasses case and glass cleaning cloth. So that does it for the backpack, but most of the time the backpack will get left at a hotel or stuffed in a coin locker. So here's my purse with what I actually carry around with me throughout the day. First, the basics I try to carry around with me even in the States. I've got a pen, eye drops, breath spray for after I've drunk coffee, CC cream to touch up before work meetings, hand sanitizer, and chapstick. Now for some Japan specifics. I've got this tiny water bottle to fill up with water before leaving the hotel, and I can also just empty vending machine drinks into it to keep them cold during the day. I brought this wallet with me from the States, though I did cave and buy a cheap wallet from Three Coins during the trip because Japanese bills just don't fit well in a US wallet. They're just kind of too big, as you can see here. You'll definitely want something with coin storage though. In the card pockets, I've got stuff like my arcade cards, Netcafe members cards, stuff like that. This is my train stamp book. Most train stations, highway bus stops, and other tourist spots will have little collector stamps you can put in the books. I keep this hand towel with me for when I'm using like public foot baths up in Fukushima or for train toilets where there's nothing to dry your hands with at the sink. This portable battery has been very helpful and it's pretty easy to carry around since it's so thin. I'd strongly recommend a reusable bag like this one. Just make sure it's easy to unfold and refold, but lots of places like 7-Eleven will now charge you for disposable bags. So this is very convenient to carry around and save yourself that little bit of cash and stress trying to find a trash can for the bag. Finally, likely important to me, but maybe not everyone else, these are wired headphones for use with rhythm games and arcades because I play a lot of those. To combat the sun and the heat, I've got a couple special items for that too. This is some Muji sunscreen mist, which since I've been outside a lot and I burn within 20 minutes, this has kept me from looking like a lobster. I've also got a little hand fan that was a present from some coworkers, and these Biore cooling sheets that you can pick up from just like any convenience store, Don Quixote, and they are great on a hot day and make the hand fan extra effective when you use it after one of these. Last but not least, I carry two medications around with me. I brought my inhaler with me from the States. You don't need a special doctor's note or prescription or anything to bring one into the country with you. You might need to if you want to bring like multiple refills of it. Um, I also got this Eve medication for any headaches once I arrived in Japan. Uh, some painkillers aren't allowed in Japan, so if you're gonna bring your own from home, you should really double check that it's allowed in Japan first. Finally, just to prove that yes, all of this does indeed fit in the bag and the zippers can close around everything, here's just a quick montage of me throwing it all together. Thankfully, since I tend to spend two days or so in each city, I don't have to go through this every single day, but it also doesn't take that long to put together either. Feel free to leave a comment with any questions you might have about packing certain things, storing and shipping luggage around cities or anything else, and I'll respond back if I know the answer. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helps you in any future adventures in Japan.